Well, it's another first on the response list. Oh, let's see how this one's gonna go for us today. What's up, bitches? As everyone already knows, Hurricane Irma and Hurricane Harvey have decimated Florida and Texas. It resulted in people losing their homes, people losing their lives, and all in all, just a horrible, really, really shitty time. Now, obviously, normal people would obviously sit there and say, oh, this is a result of global warming. But apparently, According to two idiot brothers, who I believe they're definitely hiding their sexuality very well, these hurricanes are the result of God. Oh my God, kill me. Today is the 16th year since 9-11, that terrorist attack, that horrific attack on our country. And we were watching in the nation, as were everybody, uh, the devastation of what sin truly looks like and what evil really looks like. And we saw our nation come together. One of the things that we heard a lot 16 years ago was rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. But the word we didn't hear was repent. So instead of hearing the words rebuild, which ultimately means rebuilding from the ground up and coming together as a community while not actually re forgetting what happened, you want to hear repent so so basically what you're saying was god sent the goddamn terrorists to destroy the 9-11 towers good good that's nice nowhere to stand because as a nation if you would have told us back then in 2001 that in 2017 we would be completely redefining what gender means what marriage means what sexuality means people wouldn't even be standing for the anthem and and there'd be riots and protests in our streets and white supremacists with torches in their hands and antifa bullying and beating people into comas i would have i would have said there's no way that would happen well obviously things are a lot different since then gay marriage is legal in all 50 states we have antifa we have people not standing for the freaking national anthem it's all just a part of this little wild ride we call life quit complaining and just sit back and enjoy it in this country and so today there's a message from god for us well and actually, it was yesterday, because in our Bible reading from yesterday, on the schedule that we were on, Psalm 104 was our reading. And listen to what verse 4 says. It says, God, he makes the winds his messengers. So God is speaking through the wind. And now we have, just yesterday, Hurricane Irma touching land in Florida. And God is speaking, saying, I'm making the wind my messengers. And throughout the rest of that, uh, the next few verses in Psalm 104, it talks about the waters of the flood and how God then pulled back the waters from the flood and he set waters uh, in their boundaries and he made the land boundaries for the water and now what we see with Hurricane Irma and any other hurricane the most dangerous thing is not the wind the most dangerous thing is the storm surge and what a storm surge is is when the waters breach their boundaries and when they breach their boundaries we get a chance to see what type of havoc they can create so basically what you're saying is God sent the hurricane so God being this all loving and all caring yet being at the same time, a very spiteful creator sent a Category 5 hurricane destroying homes, killing many innocent people, leaving thousands homeless because of gay people. You love, love, lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm certainly glad I don't worship the guy. And we see that morally and spiritually in America today. The boundaries that God has put out for us morally are for our flourishing and for his best in our lives. So disease, poverty, starvation, etc. is perfectly fine for you guys. But if someone dare sticks their dick in someone else's ass, then oh my god, quick, someone send a fucking hurricane, we need to kill some people. I'm sorry, what? And when we say that gender, there is no boundary. When we say that sexuality, there is no boundary. When we say that marriage can be whatever you want it to be, we are breaching the boundaries of God. And we as a country, on the anniversary of 9-11, 16 years after that horrific uh, terrorist act took place in our country, God is speaking, repent. 
Yes, you've rebuilt, but it's time to repent because the damage is when the boundaries are removed and that storm surge of moral corruption comes in. That's what is devastating our nation. So basically, if, if, if God is telling us to repent by destroying people's homes, killing innocent people, and leaving thousands homeless? Well, I only got one thing to say to God. <clears throat> Let me, I gotta get ready for this. I gotta get my preparation ready. Here we go. <gasps> Fuck you, God! God's blessings are found within God's boundaries. If you remove the boundaries, his blessings are replaced with burdens. It's time to restore the boundaries. You know, it's it's always funny when to see the idiot fucktards come out of the freaking woodworks whenever something like this fucking happens. And they always say this exact same fucking thing when something like this happened. Oh, the, the reason why the hurricane did this was because of all the gays and, and the evil homos and all that stuff because they stick in their dick into people's poopers. Hell, when Obama was fucking president, all you guys did was blame him for every fucking natural disaster. You know, maybe you guys should th take a second and realize that it's not God sending these fucking hurricanes. That it's actually the result of, oh, oh, I don't know, something in the scientific community called global warming. I'm Egghead. Thanks for watching. Oh my fucking God. It's another, that's another fucking goddamn team to ruin my fucking damn day. So thanks a lot, you crappy brothers with your secret gay tendencies.